Welcome back to Onboard Tangroa. I hope you caught last episode. We actually are really enjoying our winter on board Tangroa and the orcas coming into the bay was a massive highlight. Hey everyone and welcome to our crazy life on board Tangroa. Two years ago we decided that it was time for our family to move on to a boat. But not just any boat. 1969 aluminum trawler that needed a lot of work. Of course, being the crazy people we are, we decided we could do the whole refit ourselves. I personally am surprised that we're not divorced yet and that our kids have not disowned us. But soon, Tangaroa will be ready for our trip around the world. We hope our adventures inspire you to live each day with laughter and appreciation. Visit us at onboardtangaroa.com for early access to ad-free videos. So here I am trying to get Josh off the boat because he has to work this weekend. And, oh, that was really close. Um, being that he has to work this weekend and we're heading out means he's got to move on to shore. So he's going to go stay at Auntie Krista's house, but he forgets everything. So this is my second time grabbing stuff for him while he sits in the tender. First was the phone charger, now it's his power bar because I'll show you what he's taking. Because he is taking his whole desktop to shore. So Josh is moving to shore for the weekend. We are heading out and he's going to go stay at Auntie Krista's. Love you, Josh. Love you. Have a great weekend. Have fun at work. Be safe. Ready to go. Okay. Let us pull the mooring lines. <laughs> it's nice to get out of here for a bit. It is always nice to get out of here. Okay, you do the mooring lines. I'm just going to video. Okay. You do everything. Okay. So what happens with our mooring lines when we drop them? We just seriously, literally drop them into the water. Oh, shit. Oh, I should have. That was close. I didn't have it tied on. Woohoo. Bye bye tender. Bye bye mooring. And we are out. Just a quick interruption because I really want to show you our new Patreon swag. So head over to our Patreon channel. This is the swag that we send to our patrons. They're our Tangaroa crew uniform. Are you ready? I'm ready. Where are we going? We're going to uh, Poets Cove. Bedwell Harbor on Pender Island. Here is Portland Island and we've been anchored right there before so you're gonna have to go back and check out our video on Portland Island also known as what was it Princess Margaret Island? Yeah it was a cool place awesome hiking trails so what happened so what I've learned we learned the hard way is that the way the transfer manifold is set up, it's not a transfer separate of the feed manifold. So if we're transferring fuel and whatever fuel tank we're transferring from runs dry, it sucks air into the engines and the engines die. Ask us how we know. Uh, oh, that's going to be in a podcast. You yeah. wait, we're going to tell you how we know. It was bad. Yeah. Let's just say it ended up with Josh in the water in the middle of the Georgia Street. Yeah. Yeah, Salish so, Sea. Yeah. So anyway, uh, in order to prevent that this time around, what I've done is I've transferred from the aft tank to the port wing tank, which we're not currently pulling from right now, um, just so I know, because I don't know how much fuel I have in the aft tank, and I don't want to run it out when I was transferring. So I've transferred it all into the port tank, or as much as I need into the port tank, so I know there's fuel there. Now I'll transfer that from the port tank over to the starboard tank. So it's a bit of a long process, but it's so worth it. I just don't know where we are for fuel in that aft tank and it's... We don't know where we are with fuel for this whole boat. No. We need fuel level sensors, but that's for another day. We're just guessing. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide to leave They settle down This guy passing just in front of us here, and you see him there. This is the other one. He's he's all good. He's heading in to try to get And then there's big boy over there. He's kind of pass behind. into Bedwell Harbor here. You've got a little cove off to the left over here. We're not going to go into there. We're going to go down into here. There's a big marina and a place um, called Poets Cove, which is like a little village, resort, everything there. So Chris and Dave, who again, who are behind us on our time, they're going to head into the dock and we're going to go find an anchorage over there with all those moorings. So this is Poets Cove. up out of the water. We have never had this many problems setting our anchor. Like seriously, we're just dragging it across the bottom of the ocean, which probably isn't good for the environment, but seriously, it is not hooking at all. I'm wondering if we even have an anchor on the end of our chain anymore. I know we do, but we seriously are just kind of going backwards. There's nothing behind us, so we'll just keep going backwards until... Oh, wait. Here's got a on our chain somehow when we dropped it. It's just not doing shit. No, do you want me to pull it up? Yeah. We're wondering is if when we dropped it, the anchor got done on the chain or something, or it's weird. So we're just gonna pull it up and see what happens. We just like dragged <laughs> from like way over feet. there backwards. So we're almost there pulling up the whole anchor. There's mud on the anchor, look at it. Oh, Are you looking at Maggie? Go to shore, don't you? You just have to wait until we have to set the anchor. Twice to anchor. I got 
sprayed with mud putting it down, just was not thinking there. And we finally hooked. But geez, I've never had this boat not hook. This is our anchoring. Look how much we dragged that thing. We came in, we just, that was a long distance. So we re-anchored, we just went a bit closer to shore. Perfectly parallel. Perfectly parallel, beautiful anchoring. Oh, uh, you spilled your beer. Yeah, like half of it. Oh no, should we go get you another one? No. Nope. I'm sure Dave, Dave will, will have, have more IPA. That's, oh, you spilled your beer. I did. Oh. She looks good, like, you know, in the nighttime. Yep. No light on her. Oh, it'd be so nice to get railings put back on her. Yep. Then we discovered that our new I camera you had night night vision. Like, oh, the night vision. I'm so scared. You know the shots that people do? I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. Yeah, there. Give me that look. Like, eyes wide. Like, ah! <laughs> We are on board our time having dinner with the family because it's COVID and that's all we hang out with. But we're making burgers. Krista. I don't know what Krista's doing right now. We're, we're heating up the caramelized onions. <gasps> you already have them pre-cooked. Pre-cooked. Planned ahead. Oh, those look so good. They smell so good. Mm -hmm. We've got the box of red wine because we're classy here. Mm -hmm. It's called Cardboard, Cardboard Dough. Dough. Yes. From Kirkland. It's a very famous brand. I don't know nice if anybody vintage. knows it. We're having Caesar salad with bacon. I'm just going to steal some bacon. That's not all I've gone up there. It doesn't look on. Is it on? No, it's a magma. I said, is it on? And you said it's a magma. That's yeah, right. That's why it's off. What are you so excited about? You're just like prancing. What are you so excited about? Where do you want to go? We just finished dinner. It's absolutely yummy. Burgers and everything. And now we are just heading back to the boat. We're contemplating doing a hot tub with Chris and Dave, but just kind of tired. You know what? Cruising does tire you out. And they always say cruisers midnight is seriously like eight o'clock. So we are just going to head back to the boat. Pretty still out here. It is pretty still. It's nice though being this still. Lane's all tired. I'm not. So he's going to bed and I am going to the hot tub. Let's do it. I can't see you though. This isn't good because it is like no lights and you can't see me because we are at the pool. The pool is cold, but it's absolutely lovely. And yeah, but the lights went off. It might have been a cue for us to leave, but we're not. I can't even see you. There's no like, you're just dark. There's like, <gasps> Good morning from Bedwell Harbor. Well, here's a mess because I went to bed after a hot tub and it's just like gone a bit crazy. Just a little bit. So just woke up to fog. And then Blaine yeah. just said that. We have a tsunami alert this morning. Uh, like <laughs> the phone alerts came out. Uh, oh, is that what my phone was yeah, doing? Was like multiple ding, ding, ding on her phone, my phone. Got a phone call, uh, like automated phone message, uh, tsunami, tsunami alert. So. It's supposed to arrive between, what do they say, 6.45 and 10.45. And I think it's supposed to hit the west coast of Vancouver Island at 8.50. Tonight? No, like now. Um, oh. Like five minutes ago. So it, they're they're expecting it to not do much, just maybe affect the, the tides or whatnot. So I'm not, uh, we're not anticipating anything terrible. But... Um, it was an earthquake? Not an earthquake, I think it's a volcano in uh, Tonga, hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Well, aren't we glad we're on a boat during a tsunami? Yes. We're just going to go up and down a little bit. Woo -woo. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I Yay. need tea. The entire U.S. West Coast and Alaska. This comes after an underwater volcanic eruption overnight in the South Pacific. Look at this video. Incredible satellite images showing a massive ash cloud and shock waves. Uh, wow. And for viewers that are living or near the area of this advisory, what should they expect? Luckily, nothing happened. So we continued on with our day. 
So I was making an easy breakfast and I screwed up and I forgot to put butter in the pans and now I can't get the eggs out. So she's just gonna, you just could just eat out of the pan. I don't want to break the yolks. You don't like when the yolks break. We'll call that Skittle eggs. This is Skittle eggs. Look, this is like big restaurants, like do this for people. Okay then. So yeah, you know how like, much you pay for that in a restaurant? <laughs> this would be like a $25 meal right there. <laughs> so enjoy your Skittle eggs. We are going on a hike. <laughs> Lane's looking through the back of the camera. He is going on a hike. We're going to go climb Mount Norman, at least try and find the trail and head up there. So it's off to the dinghy dock with the dinghy. So we just changed our mind. We're not going to go do Mount Norman. It's really foggy and the lookout's going to be horrible. So we're going to go do Green Burn Lake. For me. <laughs> what was that song? Green, Green Acres, Acres is a place to be. Farming is, is the like life for me. I don't know the rest. Something, something, something. Give me Park Avenue. <laughs> What's really cool on Pender is just behind us is, what do you say, Blaine? No, a car stop. Oh, a car stop, yeah. What so does that mean? Uh, basically, if you're hitchhiking, you can wait there and people stop from the goodness of their hearts to give you a ride. Oh, that's nice. We're going up. After, after not hiking for a long time, I'm going to call this Thigh Burn Lake. <laughs> I think we're going up. I burned out like a wandering So, look at all these grandiose plans, you know. We're gonna go sail, we're gonna do hikes, yeah. we're gonna get, get some cool video. <sighs> Which, 20 years ago would have been fantastic. But I'm 50, he's 45, and we are really out of shape. You can't blame the age. No, we're just out of shape. I'm coming home. You know. What is she doing? trampolines in the end what I found was nowhere near as nice no matter the rain no matter the storm I'm coming home <laughs> Maggie you're stuck I'm coming home okay there you come up to cool. open the gate don't turn a little rock here that this tree go around oh check it out Look at that. A tree enveloped the rock. Definitely not a well worn trail, eh? <laughs> Good energy. Uh, we found these. Or... I'm having yeah. Larabar. Okay, we're not sponsored by anything. Though I fought with my claws and teeth, though I elbowed my way to a seat. There be no kind of peace like here. This is a little swamp, but check out this. This is a beaver. I used to see them in Ontario. It's exactly what they look like when a beaver starts chewing at. I mean, I've seen it in the cartoons and stuff, but I never... No, nope, that's a beaver. You can see their teeth marks right here. See all the teeth marks? Well. Isn't that cool? <laughs> No matter the storm, I'm coming. My butt is killing me. A lot of hills up and down, but we just finished going all the way around Greenburn Lake. Short hike. It wasn't it is. overly long. And now, but lovely. We get to go downhill, all the way to the boat. Pretty much. Almost. Maybe this will be the. The first one of many hikes to get back in shape again. That'd be good. That would be good. Izzy, what are you doing? Reading. Reading. Yeah. Got quite the hair going on. Yes. So 
this is a new one for us. Greybeard here has a telephone booth on their bow. Not sure why. I don't know if they picked it up as garbage, but there's a whole bunch of other garbage on the deck. I don't know, Blaine. Time machine. Time machine? You think so? 